Hello everyone, this is Orcaman for the 6th episode of Stardust Faction Gameplays. And this will be the final episode in the series for now. This, this time, we're looking at the Covenant. Now, we're gonna start off with a carrier. These are relatively new, they came out in the last Covenant update. The carriers are... These carriers have a closer range than most carriers. Their main bomber craft, the Sarah, they basically these things. The DDS has a lot of firepower for a carrier, used for self-defense in areas where this would be necessary. And plasma torpedoes for long range attacks. It has banshees to deploy in scrambling engagements. So basically, you just use your sheriffs and just destroy enemy ships from a, from a distance, as with all carriers. Except for the UNSC carriers, which I talked about previously. And next up, we have Corvettes. They are a relatively new ship in the game. Mm -hmm. Game, and these are mid tier. Wait, these are for mid tier uses. These veins are. These veins kind of stick to the sidelines of a formation. They're not necessarily flankers like the. Like. UNSC destroyers or anything like that. They just stay on the sides, do broadsides, and fire torpedoes. And fire torpedoes at will. Well, basically, you just stick to the sidelines of a formation and engage in broadsides with opponents. It's as simple as that, and. and. How you play Corvettes. There's only one Corvette in the Covenant Tree. Oh, actually there's two, but one is for the carriers. Let's see, I'm not gonna go through the frigates like cruisers, because they all do the same thing. They just charge in, do damage, fire torpedoes, same thing. And I'm not gonna display. Yeah. So that means we have three ships left to cover. Destroyer, Battleship, and Super Cruiser. But let's take a look at cruisers. I'm putting the battle cruisers, heavy cruisers, all the cruisers into the same category. Basically, these ships pack a punch. They have a lot of firepower in you both torpedoes, and as you get to get high up the tech tree, they have lan plasma lances to do to do to do damage. So basically, these things are state. I would use these in a stationary wall. You just stand in a close to mid range area and just lay down fire everywhere you go. This was this attack, these attacks are lethal in mid to close range. And that is how you play as the heavy cruisers, slash battle cruisers, slash just cruisers. Next up, we have the destroyers. The destroyers, in my opinion, 
or they ch they're meant to charge in and do damage from 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 close ranges. I would use these in a close range setting. You get some. You just charge, they have decent speed, so it wouldn't take you on to charge in. The ship has, the ship has a plasma emitters and, and plasma torpedoes. Be able to, to engage enemy targets from afar. So basically, you just charge in and open fire until you die. These things can be mid to front line monsters if you use them correctly. At least they in a close range map. Destroyers have low health and quick respawn times. So you just charge in, you go in, you get killed, and then you respawn. So I'm gonna play this. And First, next we have the super cruiser. The super cruiser is the complete opposite of the destroyer. Basically, this this thing has plasma lances and plasma emitters, and it does this. As you can see, I just lasered that dude. I the ship has very pulse lenders for for defense and plasma torpedoes for more long range durability. The pulse lasers are hybrids in case it's a, in case of a long range map. So basically, these beings do not have a lot of health. They are the Covenant snipers. They just open fire. They just lay down. they just lay down fire from a distance using their plasma lances and plasma emitters, with which they have a lot of. If you see if you see that bane, if you see that bane, you have to out snipe it or it'll snipe you. And, and next up is the battleship, which I will show after this map loading's over. Okay, so the battleship is basically a standard heavy cruiser. It has a, a lot of firepower. It's very slow. Very slow. It packs a lot of health. So, this thing is a close range. This thing is a mid to close range monster. It has a plasma lance for long range attacks. It also has torpedoes for long range attacks. And some banshees for mid. This thing is a. This thing is a giant tank of a beast. You just. You just target the closest thing to you and open fire at will. Well, and this is and this is the space hotel sunrise. This is not the right map for this kind of thing. So sorry, you won't be able to see action with this. Alright, with that said, that is how you play every Covenant ship. This is the end of the series for now, at least until the new Voyage update or the Harbinger update comes out, or even the BSG. Basically, that's all for now until the next update comes out. Alright, but then again, this is Orkman, goodbye.